I shot him six times! Alright gang, let's get into it. So as I stated at the beginning of the video, I'm going to discuss why it was Stu Mocker, not Amber Freeman, who killed Dewey Riley in Scream 5. So, as we found out at the end of Scream 5, it was Richie Kirsch and Amber Freeman who were behind the attacks and the murders in this movie. And Amber Freeman even went as far as to say that she um, is the one who killed Dewey Riley. And in her words, he, he died like a pussy, <laughs> etc. I always like that. I always love that line. I'm not going to lie. It just kind of made me laugh. I'm not going to lie. So, I'm going to discuss with you guys why I have a big issue with those claims by Amber Freeman. And she's the one who killed Dewey Riley, and I'm going to explain to you why it was Stu Mocker who killed Dewey Riley. Now, if you watched my previous videos, you know that I believe Stu Mocker is alive, so let's get that out the way. Now, one of the reasons why I believe Amber Freeman is not the killer is the big height discrepancy. Mikey Madison, who plays Amber Freeman, is 5'3 inches tall. Now, she did state in behind scenes interviews that she did have to wear 3 to 5 inches you know, still on her shoes to bolster her height during some attack scenes, etc. This is where I still have an issue when it pertains to this scene. Is Dewey Riley, played by David Arquette, is five foot ten inches tall. Even if Amber were to wear those stilts, she'd still be shorter than Dewey. And then you can tell in this overlay picture that I put in this video, if you look to the left, this killer towers over Dewey when they have the knife in his groin. And when they're propping the other knife to stick in his back. You can clearly see this killer is far taller than Dewey Riley. Now, another reason is the strength. With all due respect, not trying to disrespect any women out there. Not trying to disrespect the actress Mikey Madison. But at five foot three inches and maybe 130 pounds, and we have to also include the fact she's supposed to be portraying an 18 year old girl. I just don't believe that an 18 year old girl at that weight and that height is able to conjure up that much strength to gut a fully grown man to the point where she's almost lifting him off the ground, off of his feet while gutting him from his groin up to his stern. It's just, in my opinion, it's just impossible. Third reason why I believe it is Stu Mocker and not Amber Freeman is the dialogue. When the killer sticks the second knife in Dewey's back and proceeds to gut up with the first with the knife in the groin, proceeds to cut up to the sternum. The killer leans in and says, yes, today. In response to their earlier tussle when Dewey kind of got away and said, not today, as if you're not going to kill me today. Why I believe the killer is saying, yes, today, and then further saying, it's an honor. I believe that is so symbolic. For the simple fact is, as we know, Dewey was supposed to die in 1996, much like Gail, much like Cindy. All of them were supposed to die. Much like, like Gail and Cindy and Randy and Cindy's dad, they got away. They, they survived. So the killer saying, yes, today, is so symbolic because it's like Stu Mocker telling Dewey, Yes, today, you finally die. I was supposed to kill you 26 years ago. You got away. But yes, today, it finally happens. And it's an honor to do so because I'm the one to do it. And we are linked to that past. I was the one that was supposed to do it back then. I didn't get the job done then. But I got it done, done now. And it's an honor to do so. I believe... That is so symbolic. That that dialogue just screams to mocker. Just screams to mocker. I can't imagine Amber Freeman really saying yes today. It, it, like there's no there's no reason she would have to say that because she wasn't even born when the original murders took place. 
I believe there's an underlying meaning to when the, the killer says, yes, today. I believe that the killer, Stu Mocker, is saying, yes, I got, I didn't get you all those years ago, but today is today. Today is the day I finally do. It is so symbolic, so symbolic in my opinion. Another thing I want to throw out there. And I'll throw the clip of it here at the end of this video. If you go back and scream 1996, when they're talking about Casey Becker's murder, etc., and how she was gutted the way she was gutted, and Stu himself even says, it would take a man to do something like that. And then Cindy proceeds to ask, how do you gut someone? And Stu looks over at her and says, take a knife and you slit them from grown to storm sternum when you look at Dewey Riley's kill that screams exactly what Stu Mocker said in 1996 you slit them from grown to stern this exact kill was so reminiscent of that line and in my opinion further points to Stu Mocker being the killer of Dewey Riley not Amber Freed other than the height discrepancy, the massive height discrepancy, the dialogue when the killer says yes today, and the dialogue from Stu in Scream 1996 points to Stu being the one killing Dewey Riley, not Amber Frank. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Your support is greatly appreciated. As well as hit that notification icon so you get all the latest content update. And be sure to hit that comment section. I want to hear from you guys. Do you guys believe Amber Freeman's story that she's the one who killed Dewey Riley? Or do you believe that me, that there are some big discrepancies in her claim? And do you believe that it was Stu Mocker who killed Dewey Riley? not Amber Freeman, and do you believe me that the dialogue and when he says, when the killer says yes today, and Stu's dialogue in reference to how do you gut someone, and obviously it takes a man's strength to gut someone the way Casey Becker slash Dewey Riley was killed, do you believe me in that assessment that that points to Stu Mocker being the hidden killer in Scream 5 and the one to truly kill Dewey Riley? Hit the comment section. I want to hear from you guys. All right, guys. Once again, this is I Shot on Six Times YouTube Horror Movie Channel. I'm your host, Marcus. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Thank you for watching. Why would they ask you if you like to cook? Because their bodies were gutted. Thank you, Randy. They didn't ask me if I like to cook. It's because there's no way a girl could have killed them. That is so sexist. The killer could easily be female. Basically, it's like that was an ice pick. Not exactly the same thing. Yeah, Casey and Steve were completely hollowed out. The fact is, it takes a man to do something like that. Or a man to tell it. How do you get someone? You take a knife, and you slit them from growing to sternum.